welcome hi everyone i know i look a bit different today um my makeup is done and my nails are done anyways as you all know this is gladys Sugar. sorry about that anyways hello everyone my name is gladys as you already know i'm back here to give you a spicy juicy video on another informational session about a BSMD program. I am a third year medical student um, right now in a seven year BSMD program and I think I am knowledgeable enough on whether or not this program is right for someone who might be interested in it. And I think you could trust me too. I think I have enough credibility. I've been here for six years, I have one more year and it's a wrap. So today's video is on, is a BSMD worth it? First of all, you might be wondering, what is a BSMD program? Well, a BSMD program is basically a program that allows you to graduate with both your Bachelor's of Science and your medical degree continuously. You don't have to take the MCAT, you don't have to apply again, it's just straight through, out of high school, you're a medical doctor. That's what a BSMD program is. So you might be thinking, wow, that's great, I want to do medicine and like this is a, an accelerated program, this is an opportunity for me to become a doctor straight out of high school. Yeah, that's the same thing I thought. Don't be mistaken, um, I am grateful for the program, but this is what I, the idea that most high school students have before coming into such a program. They think, I want to do medicine, so this is the best way to do that. So I'm going to give you three cons and three pros to such a program, especially mine. And at the end of this video, I'm going to ask you a question and I'm going to challenge you to ask yourself that question and to answer it. Um, and then whatever answer you come up with that question, keep it in mind before you go forward and actually apply for such programs or commit to such programs because right now, I believe it's December, you should be sending applications, probably should have been sent out by now for college, but you don't have to make a decision until May 1st, if that's still the same. I, the last time I, I applied for college was six years ago, but I believe that the deadline to send in your, whether or not you wanted to go to that school was May 1st. So these are some things to think about before accepting. So I'll start with con one. Basically, it's a gamble. It's a gamble. Um, at this age, 17, 18, you're not quite sure what you really want to do. Yes, you might want to be a medical doctor, but are you sure you want to become a medical doctor? No offense, but I feel like medicine, being a doctor is, is glorified. It is a very respectable and honorable profession, but do you truly see yourself being a doctor? Do you see yourself going through the stress of becoming a doctor? Despite all the stress that it takes to become a doctor, are you willing to go through all of that just to become that doctor that you've always wanted to be? Um, and how many things have you really been exposed to for you to be able to say that I want to become a physician? Your mind is still maturing. You're still developing your own opinions, your own feelings about things. So really, most people, even when, when instead of doing such an accelerated program, doing the four years in college allows them to decide whether or not they actually want to do medicine the courses um chemistry biology physics these courses they help you decide whether or not sciences the sciences are really for you shadowing doing research doing all these things that are possibly going to be required of you as a medical student it gives you an insight into whether or not this is something that you want to do and also when you're in college you're exposed to other fields you're exposed to tech you're exposed to engineering you're exposed to different fields you're not exposed to that in high school. Me, I, my case is different. I did a lot of things in high school and after doing all of those things, I shadowed, I did research in high school, not in college. I did coding, I did so many different things in high school and my decision was that it would be medicine. But most people don't have that privilege. Have you had that privilege? Have you had the privilege to explore? I'm not saying that you should take all of your years, all of your life exploring, that's a waste of time and frankly, money, but do you know that whether or not this is actually something that you want to do? And are you mature enough? Have you seen enough things to know that medicine is for you? So when I say that it's a gamble, anything can happen in the next few years. You might change your mind. Secondly, you kind of miss out on the opportunity to explore. Um, in my program, it's pretty rigorous. It's seven years. Everything is medicine. Some people, they were able to force through and do some, get a minor in English, language, something that they're actually interested in or something that they might have some interest in they're able to do that some people they were still able to hold on to their hobbies and stuff 
but honestly in such a program their number one priority is medicine i wish i could have studied abroad some people were able to do that i guess but it takes it takes force okay it takes pressure you have to apply pressure in order to do these things it's not something that the school is just going to offer to you you, because here your first priority again is medicine so you do lose the opportunity to explore a lot because you, when you come into such a program it's assumed that this is what you want to do so there's no reason for you to do anything else you know what i mean so if you're the kind of person that wants to explore and see what's available to you then what are, what are you doing and then thirdly it's a very rigorous program in my last video on the few qualities that I think they should have before coming to a BSMD program or even before considering one, it has it, it talks about everything that I think you should have. And I think, frankly, if you have the, these things, I think you can survive in such a program. But the program is very rigorous. It's difficult. It's everything is condensed into seven years, eight years, actually. People, it's even, it's a blessing for you, actually, to do four years of undergrad and then do four years of medical school without any gap or anything in between just doing eight years straight but some people they don't have that luxury some people they have to do research or take a gap year so it takes about 10 to 12 years just to finish medical school so for you to do something in seven years it's going to be rigorous so many things are condensed there's so much information you have to learn so many things that you have to do and mind you you have extracurriculars you have other things that you have to worry about so it's a rigorous program it's going to drain you socially mentally physically and financially in every aspect it's going to try you so it is a very rigorous program now the part that you're probably waiting for are the pros honestly if you were to ask me i would do this program all over again if you ask someone else they probably would say they they wouldn't but i would do this program all over again the reason why i would do it all over again is because even after going through everything i don't see myself in any other profession so imagine i knew from a long time ago that i wanted to do medicine i did the work and i explored other things and i knew that medicine is what i wanted to do so if i had decided oh i want to explore it would have made no sense because at the end of the day i still wanted to do medicine so i might as well have done the six year seven year accelerated program in the beginning rather than explore <laughs> and then waste my time applying and getting rejected god forbid but so many things could have happened but even at the end of everything i still want to become a medical doctor so this program allowed me it gave me the fastest option um it's a seven-year program also i did not have to worry about the mcat okay so my let me let me let me backtrack now, if you would like to know more about the experiences of other people who are also in BSMD programs, you can go over to the Double AMC website and find out more. So first, number one, seven years. Seven years. Fast. Quick. I don't have to worry. And then second is no MCAT. MCAT is actually one of the harder exams. Um, the MCAT is basically an entrance exam into medical school that you have to take. It's about eight hours, I believe. And this exam, along with your with your grades, along with extracurriculars, along with the research, they all determine whether or not you can go into medical school. And medical school is very competitive nowadays, so you have to take the MCAT before even applying to medical school. However, in my program, I did not have to take the MCAT. I went straight to medical school after I got my BS during my third year. I went straight to medical school, and that was the end of it. Um, and then I would say, thirdly, I think it saved me a lot of money. It saved me a lot of money. So the first three years, I did not pay that much in tuition. Also, my last four years in the medical program, uh, I don't pay as much money as other people. With an exception of NYU, where tuition is free. Keep that in mind when you're applying to medical school. And for me, I guess after after my three years in the in the bash in the undergraduate portion of the program, I didn't have to take any gap year no loans were really accumulating because i was still in school i just went straight to medical school there was no in between and i finish medical school at 25 so i can start making my money at 25 and have my money grow and you know a bonus that i'll, I'll add is that if this is something that you really want to do which is medicine then i believe that this is a perfect way to just get it done i'm that kind of person get it done i like getting my things done and going on with my life so if you know that medicine is definitely what you want to do, consider it. 
but make sure it's actually something that you want to do and not something that your parents told you to do all right so the question that we've all been waiting for so the main question is what is your aim what is your aim are you the kind of person who wants to get it over with and you want to get this bag and that's it like me or are you the kind of person who would like to take it slow you want to take time to explore you want to make sure that medicine is really the the right thing for you so whichever one you choose i would say this person yeah you probably should go and look into some ps programs but if you're in this category i would say go and look into some other programs find out not even programs look into undergraduate schools and see which ones have like strong pre-med programs just in case but for the most part don't 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 limit yourself okay don't limit yourself but if you already know you want to do medicine <laughs> just just apply <laughs> all right okay so once again my name is gladys feel free to ask me any questions about medicine about bsmd programs i'm always here and available to talk and to comment and to provide as much advice and mentoring mentorship that i can um if there's any so yeah that's it i was about to wink to word i'm not winking anyways have a blessed evening good night i'm gonna go to bed and um yeah toodles